ladies and gentlemen, king of the air. I'm feeling the magnetic attraction right now. So an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> So rad, it was so dangerous to try different things. Kevin, my name's Evan. You might be the lucky one. We need some music. You should send me a voice note. I love it. I love it. Looking for love. Join us on episode 2 of Love at First Kite, where our contestants will meet with pro rider Colleen Carroll to see if she and the Dutton kiteboarding brand are right for them. <laughs> I think you're gonna like it. 60 seconds on the clock. Colin Colin Carroll claiming that he's related to you. No actual relation. Oh, he's gonna be mad. And there's a point when you can't get it any harder and you're just like, that's as hard as I can get it. I pop it as hard as I can. <laughs> Welcome back to AWSI. We are here live at the Duotone tent with Colleen Carroll. Hey, Colleen, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Beautiful, all right. Just to catch you up, I'm not sure how much you've heard, but we are um, the Jabrones, the Bridge Boosters, and the Froth Masters here this week. Three kite clans from California looking to find, the clans are looking to find their brands. So looking for love, it's called Love at First Kite. So we're gonna bring in some of the contestants that have some questions for you, and we're gonna be wondering why uh, the clan might choose Duotone to ride in the 2022 season. Is there anything going on new and fresh that you'd like to introduce from Duotone this year at AWSI? Just off the top of your head. Absolutely, we have tons of exciting products that I'm sure you're going to love. Yes. Um, in particular, we have our D-Lab material. Um, introducing here, we have our D-Lab juice, and it makes non-kite days almost non-existent. Perfect, all right. Well, we all love more kite days. Let's bring in our first contestant. My name's Natalie, I'm from San Francisco. I'm here representing the Bridge Boosters clan. Um, so I'm pretty new to the kite community. I first started three years ago, but really this season I got into it. One of the things I kind of noticed off the bat is that there are a lot more men in the community than women. And so one of the questions I have for you is what would you say to younger women that are considering the sport uh, to c encourage them to get into it? Well, um, first off, I would just say, if you're interested, go for it. Um, just taking that first step is probably one of the hardest ones. Uh, and then reach out. You never know who, um, who might want to come ride with you. You can find your, you can find your circles. Uh, in Hood River, we have a huge community of female riders, and I think it snowballs. I think you see women on the water, and more women go, oh, okay, maybe I could do that too. And you see women hanging out together, pushing each other, and it really will take off. So if you want to get into it, you got to take that first step. Reach out social media, reach out through your shop, through your cruise, whatever it is. And I'm sure you're going to find some other riders to spend time with and be inspired by. Awesome, thank you. I see you on the water and it certainly inspires me. Um, my other question is, what is your best cross training that you do for kiting? It's such an active sport, but what do you do on the side that sort of complements that well in your fitness life? So the thing I probably do the most is running. However, the most complimentary is probably yoga. You have to um, stretch out all those sore muscles. Yeah, we did a couple group yoga sessions our ourselves as well here. Well. Thank you so much, Colleen. I was so excited to come here because I think going into it, I'd heard so much about Duotone. Like everyone's been telling me about it. You know, they got the brand, they got the looks, they got the representation. Uh, I would say, like when I when I went and met the crew there, it didn't it didn't click for me. Something was a little off. I'm in the hot seat. I'm Evan. Nice to meet nice you, Colleen. Nice to meet you. Um, all right, so I'm trying to find love from a kite brand right now. Um, I'm an engineer, so I love techie stuff, and I feel like Duotone has just got that going, right? We got D-Lab, we got SLS, we got regular, normal, old, what? Give me the difference between those three things now, because now you've got one kite and it's in three versions. Yeah, so that is something that we're really excited about for 2022, is now we have many different options of construction across the range in kites and boards and everything. So we can have our original construction, which is still really good. The designers are still working on refinements to those kites. Um, they're gonna work really well 
exactly what you expect of us. We just wanted to take it further because we're also super techie. So all about taking it further, <laughs> take it to the next level. So we go next level. We go SLS, strong light superior. Um, we're saving about 15% weight in our kites here. And it's also the material really is a lot more rigid. So you're going to feel like you're going to feel that stability in your kites, but we weren't satisfied with taking it one more level, we took it to another level. And so that's where you're gonna get your D-Lab out of that Alula material. You're saving about 30% in weight. Um, and so these kites are really fine tuned for these new materials and they feel amazing. I went out on the Dice SLS yesterday. I've been a Dice rider for a long time and I fell in love with it all over again. So I think you're gonna like it. All right, I might have to roll the dice and go with the dice then. Um, I feel like you've heard that one before, for sure. Uh, all right, here's an important uh, important one for you. I'm going to paint a picture. Just walk through this hypothetical with me. All right, we're going out on a kite session. We roll up to the beach. We're pulling out our Dice SLSs. Somebody hands you the phone, connect to the Bluetooth speaker. What song are you playing? What song am I playing? Absolutely. Uh, the uh, pump up song while you pump the kites. Oh my gosh, I'm on the spot. I don't know. So, uh, Old school. This is an important. I know this is important. really important. I mean, I'm trying to find love here. We got to have a musical connection. Oh, I'm gonna go with Jimi Hendrix. Ooh. Something. Okay. Okay. I don't know what song. Purple Haze or something. Yeah. Sure. All right. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Envy. I'm here with the Bridge Boosters from San Francisco in Hood River. I've always been a Duotone rider. This time, you know, I'm, I, I, I just want to be open with my heart and try to explore. Maybe go find my North Star, find someone mystical, find my supermodel reading, maybe. Um, yeah, that's. I'm just really trying to open my heart and open my back to a new kite. Hi, Colleen. Hi. I'm Envy. Uh, I'm based in the Bay Area. Um, I'm, I think it's just really interesting that three of the interviewers today are female because I know that you're really, you really care about offering chems to women, having more women kite surfing, and we're here. We're inspired by you for that. Yeah. I'm also a duotone girl. I, I ride uh, Neo. I am on my high mate board. I have a click bar. Um, and I know you ride the dice, and this year we have the dice SLS coming out. So I just want to know what, what do you like about the new dice SLS compared to the previous one? Great question. Um, so I really enjoy the dice SLS because it is, you can feel the difference in weight. It is 15% lighter. Um, and you can feel that in the sky. I think it has helped the low end of the kite tremendously. Uh, yesterday I was out on the 12 and my twin tip and I took out a big strap board at first thinking, okay, I'm probably not gonna be able to go anywhere because everyone else on the water is on 15s, 14s. Um, and I actually had enough power to do some tricks. So I came in, I rode my boot board. I was still able to do some unhook stuff. And I think that that savings in weight has really helped the low end of the kite. Um, as well as the new material, the Pentatex material, it, it gives it this stiffer frame and you can feel that in the stability. So when you go to do freestyle tricks, when you go to do handle passes, all of that, you're really going to appreciate that increased stability. Great. We're really excited to try the yeah. new uh, Dice SOS. And my second question is, you've been riding with Duotone for a long time, for many years now. So what do you love about the brand that makes you want to stick with it? I think in general, um, we always have had really great gear. I absolutely love the products. I wouldn't choose to ride anything else. Um, but it's also, I think that we have a lot of people who are constantly innovating. They're constantly trying to do better. Uh, I think in general as a brand, they're never satisfied. So it's kind of like they always want to try to find what's next and what's going to be the next best thing. But also on a personal level, I have a lot of my really good friends that are on the that are a part of the team and also our support team, our managers. My team manager um, has just done a lot to really support me as an athlete um, since the beginning. And so I think that that, especially in a small industry like that, that's super important is those kind of internal relationships. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you so much for the answers, and I really hope I get to ride with you in the water one day. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. <laughs> yeah, I've been with Duotone for a long time, but we've never really had an official date, you know? And so far, it seems like the relationship has been a little bit stuffy for me. I need to have some air out from this relationship, and we'll see. This time, wondering if I actually fell in love too fast with this friend. i always been riding my Neo, riding my Hymie, riding my Click Bar. But so far, the back has been getting smaller. I, I just wonder if it's really a good fit. I really tried to organize around this relationship, but it's just not fitting in the back anymore. You know, like we can work it out and make it a good fit. Hey yo, if you guys are liking what you're seeing here, make sure to smash that subscribe button somewhere along down here and follow along on Instagram at Frothmasters. All right, let's get back to the show. I'm Captain Borgasm, Frothmasters. <laughs> and, um, you know, the Kite Clan, it really is a family to us. And, you know, finding the right brand, I know it's it can be kind of for every individual member to find their brand and everything that um, suits their needs. But merging with, bland, with or choosing a brand uh, is somewhat like uh, a marriage in some ways and family is really important and I just kind of want to get a feel for your family. Now I know that um, there's an, this internet sensation Colin Colin Carroll who keeps claiming that he's related to you and I'm wondering if this is like a crazy ex or a crazy uncle or a crazy cousin or what's going on there because uh, it's, a, it's a little concerning honestly <laughs> Wow um, Colin Colin Carroll you know um, we go way back yeah way back so an ex-boyfriend Absolutely not. <laughs> no way. Um, I've actually never met this person in, in person. Um, but yeah, he took my last name. So. <laughs> so kind of like a creepy stalker, are we thinking? Or I, I just, I just kind of want to know. It seems maybe like, yeah. Um, no actual relation. No actual relation. Okay. <laughs> well, how do you feel about it all? I love it. I think it's hilarious. All right, perfect. Okay, well then I think maybe there's something there that we can uh, we can work out. So, yeah. thank you so much. Hello, I'm Erin. Hi, Erin. Uh, yeah, I'm a froth master. I'm from LA. Um, so, a question about the Alula. I know some of the brands who have been like um, who have started using the material uh, have noticed that like it deforms a little bit, like where the stitches are. What what is Duotone like? How are they engineering their kites to combat that so I'm not even gonna try to get super technical with you because That's That's we fair. have we actually have our kite designer in-house here at the event he would for sure be the one to go into the fine details of that Absolutely. Um, but as we as we've been talking about all weekend um, they definitely have been dealing with ways um, to make sure that that's still strong, that we're not going to have any deformities. Um, they're noticing that kind of where the stitching, where the stitches are happening in the seams, and so they've completely redesigned um, the seams to make sure that we're not going to see any of those deformations. Yeah, yeah, I've I've definitely um, heard that from a lot of kite companies as well. Is that's like kind of the general solution to it. Um, super interesting. I really like the Lula material myself, so I'm excited to try some of the kites. Um, but besides that. Uh, some of the bridge, I'm going to speak on behalf of the bridge boosters for a moment. Uh, some of them have complained that the kite, the kite bags are a little bit too small and maybe they don't quite fit the whole kite in there. Um, they call them bowling ball bags. Um, what do you have to say about that? Have you ever had that issue? I, I'll answer the first question. I would like to offer them all 
kite packing lessons. <laughs> all right, all right. You hear that, Bridge Boosters? Uh, and then otherwise, they're, they're a little bit smaller. Uh, I do believe if you pack your kites well, it's really nice because you can f you can make them so much smaller. And especially as we get into our SLS material and our Lula materials, it packs up smaller. It's easier to get them in those bags. And who doesn't want more compact stuff to haul around all the time? Right, right. Totally get that. <laughs> all right, great. All right, we're coming to you live for a competition, kite packing competition at the Duotone Tent. What are you thinking right now as you pump up? What did I get myself into? What did you get yourself into indeed? A kite wrapping up contest. Uh, challenging Colleen, of course, we have uh, coming up around here. Who do we got? Envy. <laughs> Angie is actually facing the wind. So what PSI do you pump up your kites? As hard as I can. All the time? Regardless? Okay. What does that mean? Like, there's a point when you can't get it any harder and you're just like, that's as hard as I can get it. I pump it as hard as I can. And then the last few, I pull it up and I use all of my weight on it. Okay. We got 60 seconds on the clock. Who's got the timer? All right, great. So we got 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Ladies, on your mark, get set, hit it. Oh, oh I'm already judging this. Oh, yeah, she's, she's really walking. Wild. She's confident. Wow. Hiding this. <laughs> uh, the bridge booster, someone might have a slightly unfair advantage. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 man. I'm going to the water. <laughs> There's a reason she's a pro. This is good bridge booster content. I'm loving it. Great job, Colleen. Colleen, you killed it. We can see why the bridge boosters are always worried about uh, the new bags of Duotone. It seems that uh, their packing abilities, they need to go to some lessons. They have some lessons from Colleen. Maybe she'll uh, get with them later. They are not packing like the Froth Masters or Jabrones. We'll just say that. <laughs> it's simply. It's it. well, we're going to have to cut it. She's going to need some help. What was your winning strategy there? I mean, you really blew the competition out of the water. It was definitely the dump valve that helped me out. I got the dump valve, I quickly went to the other side of the kite, roll it from one wing tip all the way to the other. No folding it to the center, one end to the next. Wow, that is your ear first, guys. That's <laughs> packed by Colleen Carroll. You know, a little dirt on the bag, but you gotta make it happen when you're getting speed in the mix, so. <laughs> and other shoes. We're always wondering where the bridge boosters are um, lately because, you know, they haven't been here much at the AWSI show. We haven't seen them. They've been saying they're at Lyle all the time, but in reality, are they just packing kites? Is that what's going on? This is why I'm not in the water, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's time to get in the water because you lost the bets, all right. Yeah, so after the date with uh, Dual Tone, actually Colleen showed me that I was actually not a good partner to the kite. Actually, with just holding their breath for too long, could have let the valve open and let them breathe for a little bit, you know, this kite. And I think if I really try harder to be a better partner, we can really make it click. Um, but you know, like 
on their side, they could have made the back better for me, give me more space. Otherwise, I'm ready to go single strap and not with the mono at all. We met with Duotone and, you know, I think the name really throws me off. I don't know, speak me in one tone one day and then the next day a different tone. I mean, you know, all this new technology and the D-Lab thing. I mean, are you just trying to get all that attention? <laughs> in the next episode of Love at First Kite. The legend himself, Robbie Nash. Much a pleasure to meet you. I'm not super social. Yeah. Some people say, oh, that's the sign of death.